Hey everyone, I promised you a different kind of floss tube and this is it, floss tube from the beach. So I just um, went out there on the balcony. It is like 7.30 maybe, um, I think it's central time. And I'll put a video in here when I went out on the beach, but this is my view my stitching view for the time I'm here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I am on a couch, which I will put a like condo tour in here. It's not a big condo at all. It is pretty little, but there's, it's kind of dirty right now. Okay. And I know the lighting is gonna be not so great, so bear with me. All right, so this is what I've been working on some while I'm here. And these are the main things that I've been working on probably for the month, really the pretty much the entire month of October. I've been doing this, <clears throat> I started this at nothing. This is my first full, I'm sorry y'all, I'm choking. This is my first full coverage attempt. And so far, it's going pretty good. I um, am just working the 10 by 10 square, like right up here, no, I'm right, um, finish that. That's part of the cow's ear. And now I'm gonna be working on this one. I think, uh, maybe I haven't finished that. No, I think I have a little bit more left to go. And that's just like a light color. That's not, I don't think, have I filled that in? No, I haven't filled that in. <laughs> I have to do that in, in the, this little corner and then I'll move on down here and then I'll move it over here and up here. Anyway, I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. But this is a stocking from Dimensions. And let me show you the, um, I was like, why am I so close? It's, I was zoomed in. So this is a, from the gold collection, it's dimensions. And that is what it's supposed to look like. And of course, right now I am on the cow. And yeah, isn't it so cute? I love this so much. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it into a stocking. I might need help on that, but I like it. And I'm sorry, you see the fan reflection up above. So there's that. And what I'm using, the threads, are all, I made these like thread drops from some gift tags that I ordered off Amazon and I got a hole punch it's like a one and a half inch, I think. And I, if you would like the, um, I got these off of Amazon and the hole puncher. And if you would like the info for that, then just let me know, put a comment and I can get it to you somehow. But um, anyway, I like that because it's just easy. And then I have it on this, thread keep that I ordered from Crafty Cat Stitcher. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's early in the morning. And it is a Christmas one and it has a stocking on it. And I thought it would go good because this is a Christmas stocking. It's a Christmas stocking and then in, in this thing it has like just ornaments. The ornament, the little charm is a Christmas stocking and then it's got a red and green bead on there. I thought that was really cute. Crafty Cat Stitcher, I believe, is the name of the Etsy shop. I'll try to put that description. I'll try to add these in today. I'll try to put them all in the description box. But that's really cute. Um, she is a fellow Georgia stitcher. She's much more advanced than I am, but I love it. And I just put the number of the thread on these little tags. Just 
easy. And there's the package comes of these cards and there's a thick cardstock type stuff. I mean, they're not gonna, they don't bend very much. They're pretty stiff. And I think like a package of a hundred was like six bucks. Okay, so that is that. Now let me get the other thing that I brought that to work on that I've been working on for the month of October. Because I've been doing the embroidery.com embroidery witchy stitchy 2020, which is where we're supposed to we're supposed to work on a project, the same project or different ones or whatever, but we're just supposed to start show the starting point for that day and the ending point for that day. And it's just 30 minutes a day, but you can't miss more than four days. And I've missed one. So we're getting close. And then there's also these little tricks that you can that you can do along with it. Like the first, like one of them was like when you post your picture, put what cross stitch means to you and um or you know, needlework, whatever. The the only the projects have to have the projects have to use needle thread and fabric. That's the that's the rule. But there's different tricks like stitching in purple and black and orange or either one of those colors different ones it's fun it's almost over this is this is going to be going on the last week it ends october 31st i cannot believe it's the end of october like going into the last week it's where what happened <laughs> we're going to start thinking about thanksgiving okay let me go get the other couple of projects that i've been working on Okay, you've seen this before, but I have, I've done more of it, and part of it's rolled up here in this clip. But this is a beaded cross stitch. All of these are beads. And it's done the same way as a full coverage. As far as putting the beads on, I just have the pattern that I go by, putting it on a blank cloth and, or cloth, it's Ada, and, but it's, I don't know. It's like different kind of Ada. It's really soft and movable. And just using white thread and the different color beads. And this, I, I ordered this from Beads Painting, or it's called Visor Painting on Facebook, I believe. Beads Painting on Etsy. And I ordered this. It was one of the smallest, most least expensive ones just to try out and it's taken me a long time and I love it. I think it's called Waiting on Spring, but it's a cardinal I with a Santa hat on. That's what it's supposed to be. And if I have I don't think I have a picture of it. I don't I don't have the box that it came with. But everything in the kit was included. And it even have and I have all my beads in these and I've showed this before but I'm showing you again. I have all my beads in these containers that have these labels on them, which these containers, there were four of them. And they came with the kit too. With a, also in the kit was a, there. So that, that came in the kit, the fabric, and I think a needle or two, all the beads. And I have a, ba I have a bag of beads because it's gonna take, you know, a long time. But, it is, um, a, it came with a fabric marking pen. I was really impressed that it included all the like extra stuff, to be honest. And um, it took me, it took about three weeks to get to me from where I ordered it. I'm not really sure where it's coming from, but I'm really enjoying doing this. And I think I'm almost to the bird face, but I'll, I don't know. I hope I did it right. Y'all, I'm going to show it. If I completely screwed this up because I can't read a pattern right, then y'all are going to see that too. Oh my gosh. Won't that be something? So, But I love the hat because there's so many different colors of reds and there's so many different colors of greens in this kit that it just gives it like the dimension. And then these like, you know, lighter areas. I just, I love it. So, So this is one I've been working on. I'm actually going to work on it this morning. I've got over here, I've got my supplies. I've got my beads and my scissors and my thread and my pen, which is what I mark the pattern off with when I 
finish a um, section that I'm working on. So I've got it all set up. And this is the second time I think I've, I've brought this one down to the beach. I don't think I'll be finished by Christmas, but I'm gonna work hard on it during November. Like this is probably gonna be my November project that I work on every day. And that's it. Uh, I may work on the stocking too, cause it's Christmassy themed. But um, yeah, I'm try I just really wanna get these done. I, I really wanna get this one finished. Yeah, that's all beads. It feels so neat too when you touch it. And I've got another one of these. I'm just going to start. When I finish this one, I'm going to work on the other one. All right, let me show you the one other project that I've showed you um, the last floss tube. I showed it to you a little bit, but I'm going to show it to you again. Okay, so this is my bag of stuff that I'm going to be using to make my quilt. What? Making a quilt? You said? <laughs> yes. I've never made a quilt before. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I decided to try this thing that I saw from Long Dog Stitcher on YouTube. And um, I just really enjoy watching her videos because she shows a lot of her flowers and her yard. And I just, to me, I just love that. But this one is called Hex on the Beach. Fitting because I'm at the beach. And it looks like it's gonna be stormy today a little bit, but that's okay. Anyway, so this is a, just like the quilt top, made out of all of these hexagons. And the kit has the hexagon little pieces of paper. I'm doing it um, by a technique called English paper piecing, which is what I, I discovered through Long Dog Stitcher. And of course, just jumped down into that rabbit hole and haven't come out. But <laughs> this one is, um, it's like paper piecing and you take your fabric and you, and you, you baste your fabric around this piece of paper to hold its shape. And then you sew the pieces together. So this is what I've done so far. These, I'm working on, the, this is the first color that I'm working on. And th these are, I'm sewing them together like this because that's what it says to do. But this is what it looks like from the back. And I have basted them with glue, with sew line glue. So you're supposed to piece it together, kind of like a puzzle, um, in different like sections. And it makes the quilt top. And then you take these pieces of paper out once you sewn them together like one if if one like say this one if this one has something sewn on each side of it and it's like in the middle and covered by and it's been sewn all together then you can take the piece out the paper piece out but you can't do that until it's it's sewn on all the sides when you're putting it together right now i'm just kind of like making the little pieces okay so I'm working on this color that's called putty, and I know the lighting stinks, so you can't really see. And then, what's the other color I'm working on? This one, which I haven't really done. I've done all the... Let me try to open it up. Oh, by the way, I can't remember who... Someone on Instagram or YouTube gave a link to this bag off Amazon. It has like pockets that you can put your supplies in and I ordered it. They had a they had a discount. I'll try to find that information. I don't know if I can even remember where it is. Okay, so here are the individual ones that I made. I did this at home. I didn't do this here. But I wanted to do wanted to start this because it's a perfect project for me to do in the car. Especially, let's see, our car ride. Now I didn't get to do very much on the way down here because we left in the late afternoon and so I lost I lost my light and I could have got out my stormtrooper glasses but I was I just didn't want to like distract my husband <laughs> which he makes fun of him but um yeah I got so I did a lot of these at home but when we when we leave tomorrow um it will by the time you see this it'll probably already be gone but <laughs> um 
I will I'll probably work on it a lot on the car right home because it'll be you know it'll be light outside but these are the individual ones and you just glue you cut out the fabric like the fabric pieces from that and then you base them on you know when I before I started doing this I don't even know what based meant I tried to do it with just thread and it was too hard so yeah so I've got I've got to do some of those and I've got my some extra fabric here and I've got this really nifty cutting board that spins that someone recommended from that's from Sue Daly or Dally and then some just other supplies in here so that is what I'm working on and like I yeah so when I put it together it's supposed to show it's supposed to I guess kind of look like this and then I don't know what to do after that but I'm kind of this is going to take me a long time just to do this part and so I'll worry about the quilting part of it with the batting and backing and the actual quilting of it I'll worry about that later I may actually send it to somebody to do it for me who has like a sewing machine. I don't think I'm supposed to do that part by hand. Gosh, I hope not. I get, I don't know. I'll, I'll research that as it goes and I'll let you know. This is going to be like a, a who learn with me, <laughs> learn or watch as I learn kind of it, kind of project. Oops. So yeah, I'm really, I'm, that's, that's, that's keeping me entertained as well. I forgot, I forgot to mention that this fabric color is, these are the solids from Tula Pink, and I believe this one is Sweet Pea. And this pattern is a Tula Pink pattern. Hex on the beach. I just love the colors. And I plan on working on it, or bringing it to the beach every time I come. My husband will be thrilled. And the, um, pattern that I got from the fat quarter shop and I ordered the fabric all the fabric colors the beautiful fabric colors from another place that just sold the fabric by itself but um, the pattern actually came with a stencil because there is no way that I would be able to cut out a hexagon on my own yeah so I just it just came with this one one inch hexy all right so I have my beads all laid out and let me just show you what I do is I'm starting from this end right now and I'm just gonna be working my way up to right there and then I'll come back down yeah it's time-consuming but I love it all right hey y'all I'm gonna give you hi I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of the condo and it won't take long so I'm at the front door and as you come in there's stairs going upstairs this is like a town kind of like a townhouse and then a little sign right there that my sister gave me that says this is our happy place right as you walk in and then we have the kitchen which is kitchen <laughs> and right here is our there's a I'll see you peek um, it's, a, it's a laundry room bathroom and it's messy and loud so I'm gonna close that has a view and this is like the main living area <laughs> and right there over here is where I've been doing all my uh, crafting and there's a balcony and it's raining and we've got some table and um, chairs and a little table there and then there's a sign that says beach that way there's my cross stitch 
We got the TV because we're watching football today. Got this sign right here that says how to have a beach body, have a body, go to the beach. And that's a pull out twin bed thing. And I'm using that as my coffee table. It, it's a little bit more picked up than it was earlier. It's not perfect because I'm not spending a whole lot of time cleaning. All right, let's go upstairs real quick. So that's it for the downstairs. When my knees give out, I don't know how I'm gonna get up and down these stairs. Okay, here is one bedroom, which is where I have put all my clothes. <laughs> Since we can spread out and it has this big window here that overlooks the beach. We got these little pictures at like Home Goods or someplace like that. Maybe Bed Bath and Beyond. And up here are some personal photos, which I'm gonna leave out. <laughs> and then this is the hall bathroom. It's gonna make noise, but it's just a little bathroom. And there's a shower back there. And then this is the master bath. I mean, the master bedroom, sorry. And we have this little nook right here that we have a dresser and TV on. That's a storage closet. That's just a hanging clothes closet. And then another bathroom here. Yeah, anyway, has all my stuff in there. And it's dirty because I'm not neat. But here's another, let me get this off, view. I didn't even turn the lights on, sorry. We got that little picture at, I think, Bed Bath & Beyond. It's not heavy. We had a heavier one up there and it actually fell off the wall. <laughs> oh well. And this is another balcony off the bedroom that has a parking lot view, a view of the little area next to us and ocean and beach. And I am gonna say that the rain has really made it humid outside. So this is our little place at the beach that we like to come to. And I'm gonna grab my coffee. I'm gonna go back down. That's it. Now back to crafting.
All right, this is the part of the video where I'm gonna do a giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving away a bag full of wax melts because y'all know how I'm into that too. I have another channel that's totally dedicated to home fragrance and I don't have many like cross stitchy stuff to give away. So if you are interested in, in getting some, a bag of wax melts from different vendors and from myself that I've actually made, then I want you to comment down below, somewhere in the comments, beach. Okay, so, and then I will leave, I will pick a winner from the next time. I'm gonna, I'm going to um, insert a Google document where you can put your information so I can contact you by email and um, that'll be easier. So comment and then also fill out that Google document so I can, I can get in touch with you by email. Okie dokie. So um, thanks for watching.